Hey everyone. Okay, I'm going to be releasing two projects. Two! One of them is Quake Template, and I'm going to go over what Quake Template is and what is in the first release. And the next one is RPG Template, which is a template for a World of Warcraft style RPG. Not an MMO, it's just going to be like whatever the Unreal Engine can handle without significant changes. Uh, 8 to 16 player style MMO thing. Okay, both projects are not finished. Uh, the RPG for now is in a is in a state of uh, I, I, I kind of cancelled it but it's still something that's really cool that 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 you can look at and maybe make something from it. There's a lot of things that I learned not to do, and I'll I can go over all of the things not to do. Uh, but for right now, uh, at the beginning of this, we're gonna talk about Quake Template, and I've been working on this for the last three weeks, and it's in uh, its first releasable state. And if you're watching this video, you can go ahead and go to my Sue and 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 download it. Uh, it's all up there. So, let's take a look at it. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what am I looking at? This doesn't look like... Oops, I spawned. Oh, oh, let me get any sounds in. Um, you'll notice that the sound effects are straight from Quake 1. Uh... I'm not selling this project. This is not something, but uh, this is still kind of a no-no. Uh, I don't have anything better to really use at the moment, and I kind of wanted to show like how this feels a hell of a lot like Quake 1. Uh, all of the stuff that I've been working on in all the previous videos is in place, including some new things like floating text. For example, uh, when you damage somebody or when you grab health, you'll see a little plus 5. That's the shard. And here's an armor shard. Uh, you don't see floating text for armor right now, but just health. Um, these icons are the weapons and the ammo. Uh, no outline means that it is uh, shotgun shell, shotgun shells that you can that you can just uh, get ammo for. And here's the super shotgun. It is two shotgun shells. Now you'll notice that uh, when I switch weapons, I, I just switch to axe. If you look on the on the bottom of the screen. You can see me actually swinging my axe. You can hear the sound of it. You can hear me like hit the wall, right? Uh, here's the nail gun. Oh wait, let me show the super shotgun. All right, and here's the regular nail gun. Hmm. You know, on this release, I think that the, the nail gun's just a touch too slow. You'll notice that I uh, have like a little bird chirping sound. That's the sound. It's supposed to be a random like thing. Whenever the nail hits the wall, the impact thingy plays a sound effect. Uh, it doesn't have any attenuation or any of that uh, stuff set up yet. But uh, and it's it also doesn't have like the ability to pick between one of four different sounds. So it just sounds like the same bird chirp. Um, uh, here's the super nail gun, and I grabbed full nails, here's super nail gun. <laughs> okay, you'll notice that the super nail gun, uh, fires two nails. Uh, I decided to just do that because the way Quake 1 worked is it fired one nail that was worth two nails, and I guess it was like a silver nail, uh, I'm just firing two nails. Now all of these bullets are using traces. I can walk up. I can walk up to a wall and fire my gun right into it, and everything works as it's supposed to. Uh, here's a grenade launcher. The grenade launcher currently does not bounce. I will get that. Uh, that it will be on. Like that is on my to-do list. I will be getting the grenades to bounce. <laughs> so they're just sticky grenades now. The. Uh, one of the things that's really interesting about this project is that it's kind of turned me on to these, this idea of just making the game, making a first-person shooter that has 
or just making game templates that purposely do not have graphics. Literally, what you are wa what you are looking at is just the technical side of everything. You're watching the bullets as they're flying around as traces, and you'll notice that when the grenade explodes, you see the exact sphere. That exact sphere is exactly what it is used to determine whether or not you take damage from the grenade. So if I'm in this grenade, I don't have very much armor, but did 80 damage to me. And that was uh, that was with no armor. Ow. Uh, oh, Mega Healths. Alright, Mega Healths. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and grab me a green armor and an armor, armor shard. Okay. The rocket launcher is... Here? Okay, so rocket launcher. You can't see the rocket flying because the projectile is too tiny. I don't I don't have a graphic that's uh, good enough for the rocket right now. If you catch anybody with that red uh, sphere, that person will take damage. That that is going to hurt them. They did 58 damage to me. I don't currently have rocket jumping in place. Um, the lightning gun, or the thunderbolt, is right here. And uh, when you switch to the thunderbolt, uh, you will not see the, sh the actual shaft, the beam itself. I'm not sure how I want to implement that yet. But you can see that it has limited range, and it does a lot of damage, too. It's really powerful. Uh, I'm gonna grab another green armor. Actually, just get yellow. Okay. Grab my mega health again. You notice on the on the right side of the screen, you can see the status of all the items, all major items. So you can see the on the bottom is grenade launcher, green armor, yellow armor, shaft, rockets, red, and mega. And you can actually know what their, their spawn timers are like you can actually determine okay there's 30 seconds before these actually respawn that's going to be another 30 seconds for shaft and uh that's something that that everybody spectators uh players everybody can see those things by default if you decide that in your game you don't like that you can change it very easily uh what i am doing is i'm adding all of the features to the game I don't I'm just making my own thing and it's very easy and malleable for anybody else. So when you get this project or when you start working on it or whatever, uh you're you're probably going to be looking at it thinking uh this is way more stuff than I want or or uh, this is just not quite the right mix. It's all very easy to modify. Anyway, with that said, let me get another player in. Okay. So, uh, one thing that I was not prepared for is how fucking difficult it is to actually see another player right now. Unless, they're, if they're moving around. So, you could probably see it on my screen. It's like this little thing. Like, I didn't put a, a proper, like, thing. Uh, some, something to mark the player's actual... Uh, to mark them visually. The only thing you get to really see is their outline, which uh, I'll have to get really close to to show you so oh my god it's just like invisible I didn't realize how invisible this really ended up being the uh, the build of the that's on the editor looks a lot different from the build that you know when you actually package the game up so you'll notice here like I'm gonna grab grab all these now you notice that the the the, one, the character that's sitting on the screen right now who's the uh, is currently spectating so I'm going to go ahead and spawn in, and I'm going to grab a green armor, a mega health, and super shotgun. Now, watch what happens when I when I poke this guy over here with a single barrel shotgun. <laughs> you see every you see the text. The text is done super easy. This is one of those things too. It's like what I am releasing right now could have probably be, been sold for like maybe fifty dollars because I'm looking at all the other stuff that they have on their blueprint demo and like floating te combat text alone is like fourteen dollars or something um, it might be it might be cheaper actually 
but it's even still it's like god man i have an easier way to do it that's that's way simpler than uh what was done on that blueprint so <laughs> you even hear the oh he died he died and he just disappeared all right respawn uh okay so I'm gonna grab a super nail gun. Make sure I have plenty of nails. All right, I'm all the way up to 80 nails. All right, now you watch. That killed me. I feel like the guns are more lethal in this than in Quake 1, but maybe I need to play Quake 1 again. Of course, if you have red armor, then it's just like your red armor just depletes Now, if you'll notice, uh, yeah, while, while I have red armor, the nail gun only does, like, one damage. I don't know if it's like that in Quake 1. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much what's here. Uh, this is what you'll, you'll get when you, uh, when you download it, and, uh, it's pretty much right now, it just needs maps, and, like, there's a few things that I need to add to it. Rocket jumping, uh, various other features. I'll actually make videos of, of what those are and, and how they function and I'll probably have a longer video that's probably going to be really really long That's that actually goes in detail everything in the entire project. Uh, so n next, uh, RPG project. They're both going to be released at the same time. Okay we got the RPG project. Um, this is another completely free thing that you can just do anything you want. Quake template and this project. Uh, I'll put them both up for download and you can grab the developer version or you can just grab the play version and fuck around with it. Uh, this one is for doing a game that's kind of like an MMO or something along those lines. I am abandoning the project personally because there is a lot of stuff that I've done that is totally unnecessary, and I learned the hard way. And most of those things revolve around how the HUD interacts with the with the world. The HUD does not need to be explicitly told every little thing. The HUD actually should function as its own entity that observes everything that's going on. It's not it's not the other way around. I did it the opposite way it should be done in this world. In this project, uh, so that caused a huge amount of additional blueprint scripting that is completely pointless, and uh, has cost the project dearly on the front of frustration of wanting to actually go in and try to fix that shit. Uh, however, there is a lot of cool stuff here to check out, play around with. It works with multiplayer. Uh, Need to grab a green guy. Where are the green guys? Oh, okay, they're over here. So I can cast my frost bolts, and I can, I can hit him with a fireball, and I can put a, a a burst underneath his feet, which stuns him. And if I switch over to the other character who is currently on the server right now, you'll notice, you'll notice that, yeah, you know, he's named 257. I'm gonna say set name Castle, right? And if I do anything to this guy, or actually if he just cast uh, Regen, Rejuvenate on himself. Okay, so he see how he cast Rejuvenate on himself, and you can see it slowly recovering HP over time, and all that jazz. Now, I, this is also another project I probably could have sold for like 50 bucks. I'm just going to fucking give it away, and you could do whatever you want with it. It doesn't have all the extra HUD stuff set up. Um... The chat system is just a window. It's not. It's not hooked up right now, uh, but I could easily picture a game uh, being made off of a template like this. It, it would take a little bit of cleaning up to make sure that the HUD is working correctly. But with that said, it is actually still functioning. So I got my benediction, which only works if I have uh, <laughs> if I only have if I have uh, medica on me, and I have all this craziness stuff. 
I can cast fireball on the other player, and the other player can hit me with a stun. So like, burst is a stun. Boom! I see a stun in the middle of the screen, just like in World of Warcraft. I can't do anything, right? And uh, actually, let me make sure I have enough SP. Yeah, you bur you burn through your SP pretty quickly in this. So like, you'll notice that mana shield makes me invincible. So if this guy tries to cast a a th something like a fireball on me it does zero damage because I have my mana shield up but I need to get out of it so I can trinket out of my own move some moves are set up as trinkets and all that jazz so there's a whole bunch of like really cool shit to look at and try to understand and uh, critique me on and I'd really like to see what you have to say uh, both of these projects are being released if you're watching the video you can see uh, where the where I'm releasing them all right uh, there's one last detail I want to go over, and that is the RPG template has those really cool icons. I never got permission to actually use those. Um, the guy doesn't seem to respond. I don't even know if he speaks English or reads English. Uh, I really like those icons, and uh, well, I'm going to have to strip them from the project, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of far with this because you know i'm not really selling it or anything like that but even still it's kind of lame and it's bad enough the other project is using quake one sound effects right now so i'm just gonna you're you're gonna get the rpg project and it's gonna look a little <laughs> i'm just gonna replace it with like numbers or something so uh i hope that's not too much of a visual deterrent uh with all that said i am looking forward to hearing what everybody has to say and uh, I hope these projects are useful, and, uh, well, yeah, enjoy, and stay tuned for more.